Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film a skincare routine video. My skincare routine is not extensive whatsoever. It's really simple um, and it works for me. And I just wanted to give a little disclaimer here that I am not a dermatologist or an esthetician. So these are just products that have worked for me and my skin type. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the skin type that I have first. So I have very sensitive skin. The older that I get, I realize the more sensitive that it gets. Um, and I also have pretty common, it's combination skin. Sometimes it's dry um, throughout the day. It could tend to get a little bit more on the oily side, but with a little help from a new product that I've started using like two months ago, um, it's definitely kept the oil factor down. Um, and I also wanted to talk a little bit about going dairy free. So first, I think I want to dive into the dairy topic. Um, so I'm lactose intolerant, so I can never have whole milk. Anything with whole milk, my stomach gets so upset, just hates me. So I was using skim milk for the longest time. I love cheese. I love cream cheese. I love yogurt. I love everything dairy. But I realized that when I started consuming all of these things, especially cream cheese, I was doing cream cheese with bagels in the morning for breakfast. For lunch, I would always pack yogurt in my lunch and I did that for probably five months straight. And my skin hated me and I couldn't figure out like what was going on. I started looking up articles online and I was reading that there is a correlation between skim milk and breakouts and it has something to do with the hormones that are in skim milk. Ways to prevent this from happening is to consume more organic meats and organic dairy products. They also did the study between whole milk and breakouts and skim milk and breakouts and I think they said that less people were breaking out on whole milk compared to skim milk. And that article that I found was on Glamour and I believe it was published, yeah, June 10th, 2016. And the title is just called The Weird Link Between Skim Milk and the A Word. I don't like the A word. It's a gross word to me. And I also don't like the P word either when describing blemishes. So I'll just be using the word blemishes and breakouts in this video. I know it's kind of weird. I'm weird, but words like bother me. And like my friends know this, like certain words, Alexa, if you're watching this, I know what you're thinking. I hate words. I'm so weird about words, but going dairy free isn't easy. Dairy is in so many things like butter, cheese. So I'm a black coffee drinker. I've been a black coffee drinker for two and a half years now. And then the more caffeine, the better. So there's a lot of positives to drinking coffee black. And I just get flavored coffee, so it's really not that bad. The challenge that I face though is being out in restaurants. I'm a foodie, I love to eat. Mac and cheese is one of my favorite things ever, and to just not be able to eat that, it's like so sad. It's not easy. It's easy to do if you're at home going dairy free because you can buy vegan products. So a few products that I really like, Kite Hill, you can find that at Whole Foods, and they have almond milk cream cheese and almond milk yogurt and they're very, very good. So just cutting back on your dairy consumption, I truly believe you could see a difference. So with that said, if you cut out dairy, my skin definitely cleared up, um, but you obviously want to keep your skin clean on the inside too. So what I use to take off my makeup, because I obviously wear a lot of makeup, not right now, this is my five minute makeup for the day because I'm running errands today. Um, I have the day off from work. So I'm going to 
not be putting on a full face of makeup. But when I do have a full face on, I like to go in with just plain ivory soap. Soap with fragrances make my skin, my body, my face very irritated. So I just use plain ivory soap, take a washcloth, wash all the makeup off prior to going in with a cleanser because the cleanser that I'm going to talk about I don't feel like it takes off all of your makeup. It doesn't dig deep down to get it all off. Going in with soap first, it's super easy. Then you kind of have a cleaner slate to go in with a cleanser and it'll do a better job. So, highly recommend if you're using, like I can't use Bath and Body Works soaps because they make my body even irritated um, and I'll break out in hives. Next product I'm going to talk about, I mentioned this in my August favorites. It's the Aveda Outer Peace Foaming Cleanser. So Aveda is all plant-based products. And that is one of the reasons why I switched to it. Um, before I switched to this, I was using the Dr. Jart, I don't know if they were like treatment pads or whatever they are. Um, but it was not good for my skin. It was very, 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 very painful. Um, my skin would burn, and I tried another line before switching to the Outer Peace line, and this line has helped me tremendously as well. It has tea tree oil in it, and it says on the bottle, dissolves oil and sebum without over drying. I will say that this stuff is definitely not over drying, but it doesn't take off all of your makeup, so that's why I use the ivory soap first. This way it's really clean. It has a blend of pure plant extracts including Timanu, Amala, Boswellia, Saw Palmento, and it infuses our uniquely powerful plant formula supported by an aroma of certified organic lemon, tea tree, and rose geranium. So tea tree is extremely good for your skin, your scalp, your moves impurities, and this stuff is amazing. It is a foaming cleanser. It lasts about two months, and this is my second bottle. I'm going to be needing to purchase another bottle here shortly. So if I've purchased it already twice and about to be my third time, um, then I know I'm sticking with this because I've tried so many products. I was using makeup wipes to remove my makeup for a while, and I mean, they've really irritated my skin. My under eyes. Um my cheeks, just everything, like you could just feel it like burning. And I even tried like Simple, which is supposed to be for sensitive skin, and no, it wasn't for my sensitive skin. So if you have really sensitive skin, I really recommend the Outer Peace line if your skin is subject to breakouts. I use it morning and at night. So I use one pump and it'll cover my whole face. And I believe this is about $30 or $29 for 4.2 fluid ounces. So you do get a lot. And I mean, it lasts two months. I think that's a pretty good, pretty good deal for two months. And then the next product that I use with it, which these two are like the perfect duo. If you purchase this, I do believe that you should purchase the, I'm not going to say what the word on it. I'm going to call it the blemish relief lotion <laughs> by Outer Peace. And this is 1.7 fluid ounces and it's a salicylic acid treatment and it balances moisture to control oil and shine. And yes, it definitely controls oil and shine. When I first got it, I was only using it at night and then my skin like would kind of get a little more oily throughout the day. And then I started using it in the morning as well as like a primer before I put my foundation on. And it literally helped keep my skin matte so much longer. It just like, it's not a greasy um, moisturizer, which I really, really love that. It says it's a lightweight moisture balancing lotion. It helps clear blemishes and minimize the appearance of pores while helping prevent future breakouts. Do I think that it minimizes pores? Eh, I don't know about that. But it definitely makes your skin feel so moisturized in like a baby's butt. I mean, it is not greasy. It really is the perfect moisturizer. It's super lightweight. You don't even feel it on your skin. And it has 
0.5% salicylic acid. But you could use this morning and night or eight, even three times a day if needed, it says. So I highly recommend this little guy. It's $40, I believe, but honestly, the littlest amount goes the longest way. I just put a little pea-sized drop on my finger and it'll cover your entire face. I've had this since the beginning of September as well and I have a whole lot left in here. So I know it seems expensive, but honestly this, this stuff is a game changer. The last product that has made a huge difference in my life, I no longer go in with soap on my eyes. So I wear heavy eye makeup. Obviously not today, today is 5 minute makeup day, but 95% of the time I am wearing a full face of makeup, eyes completely done, that stuff is hard to get off. You know, I spent a lot of time scrubbing with soap, with ivory soap and a washcloth, and many of times getting that in my eyes and it burning so bad to the point where it was just frustrating. And I don't use makeup wipes anymore, so I wasn't gonna purchase makeup wipes just to take off my eye makeup because it honestly did more damage as well. Basically, what I use to take off my eye makeup and even the concealer that I apply down here because the concealer that I use is waterproof, so, oh no, I just got coconut oil on my face. Crap, I'm gonna have to reapply my concealer. Anyways, um, the concealer that I use is full coverage, it's waterproof, and that stuff can take a lot of work to get off. But if you use coconut oil, it'll come right off with no problem whatsoever. This stuff removes eye makeup, mascara, liner, everything. You could get this at Sally's or Amazon has it as well. And they also carry it in bigger bottles. I think they carry it in like an eight fluid ounce. This is only two. I think the eight fluid ounce is like five bucks on Amazon. So it's really cheap and I no longer have to scrub, scrub a dub dub on my eyeballs. So this game changer, I will say that if you get it in your eyes, you kind of have a little bit of blurry vision for a little while, but definitely better than getting soap in your eyes. It does say keep out of eyes and if eye contact occurs, rinse thoroughly with water. Yes, that's basically what I do. You can put this in your hair, on your cuticles. Coconut oil is just great for like so many things, not just cooking. So, well this is the Hollywood Beauty coconut oil, I should probably tell you who it's by. Um, yeah, oh, it locks in moisture. So if you have dry skin, you can put this on your hands, like I said, your cuticles, your scalp, the ends of your hair. It's just great. It's a great little product. So I highly recommend this guy. And those are the products that I use. Like I said, my skincare routine is not extensive at all. It's super simple, which is what I like because whenever I get home, say if I'm going out or something, I'm usually tired when I get home. I don't want to be spending a half an hour taking off my makeup. Those are just some of the products that I love and that work for my skin type. And like I said earlier, I wanted to mention the dairy-free topic. If you drink a lot of skim milk or consume a lot of dairy, just and you notice your skin is breaking out, especially down in this region, this is typically where I was breaking out really bad. Definitely try weaning yourself off of it and see if that helps you at all. Help me and these natural products are also a big game changer in my life. So I just wanted to share that with everybody because I never thought that I would ever film a skincare routine because I never thought that I would have a skincare routine. But I'm super happy with my skincare routine and I wanted to share it with everybody else here on YouTube. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That would mean a whole lot to me. So I will catch you guys in my next video.